Hey, in this video, I will show you how can any user upload the video file by user interface. So, at first, you have to log in. Okay, so just log in with proper username and the password. Then log in. Okay, you can see this form now. Okay, now give a caption name and just choose a file. So, just choose a file here. Okay, and upload it. Okay, upload it successfully. So now refresh it. So here you can see it. Okay, you can design more better. So here I just focus on the back end. So don't worry about it. I will show you step by step. Okay, in my previous video, I already told you how can you use the sign up and the login or the Django authentication. So at first you have to create a sign up form and the login form. Okay. Otherwise you can continue with this video if you don't want any authentication system for uploading a video. Okay. So just follow the tutorial. So here is a step by step tutorial and I created this and here is all codes. Okay. And I explain this step by step. So go and check it. Link is in description box. Okay. So just check it. Hey, at first create a registration and the login authentication in Django because I want to when user is authenticated then he allow to upload a new video otherwise not. Okay. So how to registration and how to login in Django. So go to the channel and check for this video. Okay. Otherwise you can continue with this video. Okay. How to login or registration you can get the video from my channel. Okay. So let's continue the video. If you don't want a registration and login for user authentication, then you can continue. Okay. So at first open your code editor. So this is the Django app and this is the Django project. Okay. So at first go to models.py here. Create a model for the video. So just type class vid or video and inherit from models dot model. Okay. Now type a caption name caption caption is models dot character field and max length max length is 100 ok now create a variable for video and video is what video is models dot file field because I want to just use the URL so just type file field Okay, so now you have to add upload to and upload to what? Upload to video slash percent y percent y for er. It will auto completed by Django. Okay. Also, you can use the validator for the file size. Okay, so for this, just create a file name validator dot py. Okay. So at first you have to import the validation error from Django core exception. So just type from Django dot core dot exception import validation error. Okay. Now create a function name validation error or file size validation error or anything. So I just type file underscore size. Okay. This is my function name and the parameter is value. Okay. So now create a variable for the file size. Okay. File size equal value value dot size. Okay. Now create a condition if file size this variable greater than 10 MB. Okay. So just convert 10 MB to bit. So just copy it and paste here. Then raise a validation error. And now type the message maximum value maximum size is 10 MB. 
okay you can change it so i just change it into 100 okay so you have to put this value otherwise you can use any value okay so just change it into the bit so the file size if under 10 mb then you can upload the video okay so now go to models.py here you have to import the validator so just type from dot validators import file size and here just pass validators equal file size in a list file size okay now create a str function here so just create a str function and it will take self argument now return self dot caption okay so now go to admin.py here at first import the model so just type from dot models import video okay now register it so the model name is video i just capitalized it okay so go to admin here import the video now register it admin dot site dot register and register the model video okay now go to the forms.py if you do not create any forms.py so just create a file name forms.py inside the application so here at first you have to import the model video so just type from dot models import video okay now create a class for the video form so just type class video form and inherit forms forms dot model form forms dot model form okay so now create a class meta meta class will connect the form to the model and the model name is what video okay and the field fields are what so just pass the all fields so first field is caption so just type caption and the second field is what video okay so now go to views.py here just create a index function so you have to import the video form at first from forms so just type from dot forms import video form okay so now here i use the post request so just type if request method is equal post then form equal what form equal video form okay and now type data data equal request dot post because i use the post method so just type request dot post post remember post is in capital okay and now type another parameter file files equal what files is request dot files a file L E S. Remember files also be in capital letter. Okay. So now type if form dot is valid. Okay. Then form dot save. Then use the HTTP response. So just return http response so at first you have to import the http response okay from django dot shortcuts so just http response and just type the message so the message is uploaded successfully 
okay if the request method is not post then create a else block and just type form form equal video form okay so just copy it and paste it here and do not pass any argument and here just pass the django variable name form okay. now go to the index dot html inside the templates here use this form so here just use the form with post method so just type form and the method is post okay and also type in type equal multi part slash form data it is important you have to write this okay now here i use the post method so i have to use the csrf token so just type csrf underscore token and use the form so just type form dot as underscore p you can use as table so here i use as p means as para okay and now create a button so just type button for submit and the name of the button is upload the class of the button is the bootstrap class btn btn success and button large okay so here i just create a another class deep and the class name is margin top 5 here i use the margin top property of bootstrap okay now the action is what the action is dot because i use the same url okay and go to settings.py inside the project here you have to use the media root and the media url so just type media underscore url media url equal slash media and just type media root media underscore root equal os dot path dot join and join with base dir and media okay you have to put slash after the media okay now now you have to add media root and media urls with the urls pattern because every media has an unique url okay so here at first you have to import the static and the settings so just import settings and static here and and also type settings dot debug and add the url patterns okay with media root and the media url so you have to type this because every media has an unique url if you do not write this then it will not work remember this line okay now save it okay now go to the views.py inside the application here just create a variable for grabbing the all video okay so just create a variable all underscore video all video equal v i d e o video this is the model okay you have to import the video model also just type form dot model import video okay so here you use video dot object dot all okay so now pass the all video django variable so just pass here all video django variable so type all and all is what all video okay so now go to 
index.html here just grab the all video so i just copy the code this is the for loop for the video so for the time saving i just copy and paste here don't worry about that you can get the all codes from the description box here just use a simple for loop for grabbing the all video okay and here the django variable is not video it is all okay so just go to views.py the django variable is all okay so here just use all okay this is mistake and here you use the comma now open the cmd and just make migration and migrate the model so just i python manage dot py make migration and it is for the application app okay now migrate it python manage dot py migrate okay so now run the server so just run the local host okay so now just give a caption name test 111 and choose a video file just choose a video file okay and now upload it here is an error maximum size is 10 mb because i use the validator you can see here the file size if greater than 10 mb then there is an validation error so i just change it into 50 mb okay so just convert it to mb to bytes okay so just copy it and paste here okay remove the comma and here just type maximum size is 50 mb okay now save it and now run the server again now here refresh it okay now choose the caption name and choose a file name here just choose a file under 50 mb okay so i just choose a file so upload it uploaded successfully you can refresh it so here you can see okay so now choose Uh, another file test to just choose a video file under 50 mb you have to remember it so just choose this file this is the 30 mb file okay just upload it upload it successfully and refresh it okay here is the test to you can design it more better so here i want to use if user is authenticated then he can use this form so just go to index.html okay and here is the form okay so just copy this form and remove this and here is the if tag for request.user. is authenticated okay if request.user. is authenticated then just use this form do not use inside the else block okay so you have to add a tag if e request dot user dot is authenticated okay and just end the if tag here okay so just save it you can get all the code from the description so just go to the url and check the tutorial step by step so just save it and refresh it okay so here you cannot see the form okay just log in so just log in with proper username and password okay here you can see this form okay so now you can choose test 2 222 and now you can choose a video file so just choose a video file under 50 mb so i choose this video again upload it successfully okay so this is the video so in this way you can use the video form and you can create a video grid website so thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel and 
Also check the step by step tutorial link in description go and check it. So thanks for watching the video.